and uh, SDL free surface menus I okay so I just read the surface if we return to the game similar thing we have to do in here as well so whenever we use the return we have to free the surface before as uh, the surface just uh, stays uh, unfreed and that's a memory leak okay I think that's all return statement we have in here okay we have yeah, one in here but we already do that Seventy. Oh, we should use we shouldn't use I in here because we used I in the uh, loop right there. It is good that it give warning. It doesn't give error message, but it gives warning, right? It's good. As we would give a, a very strange result. Okay, and uh, that's all. Okay, now we can compile the program and probably run it. Oh, one more thing, as I al always forget, to the SDL flip, right? So, the end of the, in here. So, we use the SDL flip screen. Okay, probably it will do and we have to regulate the FPS. Wow, that was a long tutorial. I guess it will be much, much shorter. So, if 1000 slash 30, I don't make a global variable for that, is greater than SDL get ticks minus uh, uh, time, then we just delay it. So, SDL delay. Alright, that's it. Okay, now I think we can run the program. Okay, still nothing. Why don't it make it visible? Oh, we don't delete the surface, did we? Nope, I think we didn't. So, in here just delete the two surfaces. So for int i equals zero, i less than num menu, i plus plus. So we just use the FDL blit surface, and the first parameter is the menus i. The second is what part of the menu do we want? We want the entire. The next is where we want to it to the screen, and we want it to the position i. Now it should work. And one last thing, it's really a last thing, uh, as a check whether the escape key is pressed. So case SDLK escape. So if the SDLK key is pressed, we call the show menu function. So int i equal to show menu and we check that if i is uh, to e a 1 so if i equals to 1 then we just set the running equal to false so if we return with the exit we just uh, set the running equal to false so we exit from the program if you uh, follow along with this tutorial so the pong game making tutorial you already know what this running variable is so, if the escape key is pressed, then oh, show menu. We need to give the screen and the font to it. It says two uh, too few arguments. So, if you see anything like this, then okay, here we go. So we have two oh, kind of menus. Oh, I don't click that. Uh, okay. Uh, so, in the mouse motion, in here, mm, 
maybe the problem is not breaking so I just break from here and uh, and try it now I don't exactly know what the problem is oh now it's work so if I click on it it starts the game when I press escape it pause the game and show the menu okay it was not it is not centered as I thought it will be but it almost so if I hit exit it will exit the program okay although there is a little delay there so as I show one of the menus it will show the it will change the color and I thought we have uh, and I thought we don't have uh, you know any memory leaks in here I guess uh, so probably it is clear for you wha what we did and why we did that so set up the variables mm, let me think I don't think that we, de uh, we do anything that is uh, a little complicated we, you should already know all of these these we just put it together to one uh, menu as I said, if you want to make a professional menu, then you wouldn't do this manual way. You would set up a structure or a class and use member function instead of uh, instead of manually write everything. But for now, I think that game I that is enough for the game we just did. And uh, yeah, uh, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.